He says, why do you have no faith? Why do we have no faith? We don't know what he's doing half the time, or more than half the time. When I was a little guy, my dad used to take me outside when there was a big storm rolling in. He was a pilot, an old pilot, and he knew weather patterns, and he, he could tell us about all the clouds and what was going on inside a cumulonimbus storm. And uh, he'd sit on the porch, and, and I'd kind of lean back against my dad, and he'd describe the storm as it was rolling in. I felt utterly safe. Maybe we weren't. I mean, we could have been hit by lightning, I suppose. But, but I just felt so safe. I knew he knew what was going on. And, and that was enough for me. I didn't understand about all the different kinds of clouds and I didn't, I didn't get all that. But I did get this. He was my daddy, and he knew what was going on, and I was safe. And when we remember the Lord Jesus, what kind of man he is, he's our man. He's our man in the glory. He's our Savior. Christian, he sees you. He knows right where you are right now. He knows every need you have. He knows your prayers, your cries, your longings. He knows... He knows that you're not satisfied and you want more of him, more of his blessing, more answered prayer, more evidence in your life that God is real. He knows that. And he cares. And Peter, the man who maybe spoke those very words, don't you care, is the same one that pens those beautiful words, casting all your care upon him. Because he cares for you.